Assembling your KitchenAid Juicer & Sauce Stand Mixer Attachment. Begin by placing the drive assembly on a flat countertop. Next, turn the juicing bowl upside down to ensure the rubber gasket is securely placed behind the pulp chute by sliding it into place. The rubber gasket may be removed for cleaning. Place the juicing bowl onto the drive assembly with the pulp chute resting in the chute slot. Set the wiper basket into the juicing bowl. Then, the strainer of your choice. Aligning the red position arrow on the top of the screen with the red position arrow on the top of the juicing bowl. Now, using the finger guides, firmly place the auger blade assembly into the pulp screen. Next, align the unlock icon with the red position arrow and press the lid into the juicing bowl, firmly twisting the lid clockwise to align the locked icon with the red position arrow on the juicing bowl and securely lock the lid to the juicing bowl. Attach the juicer to your KitchenAid stand mixer power hub by sliding it into place and secure. Place the pulp container under the pulp chute and the juice container under the drip stop. Now, insert the hopper into the top of the feed chute and the 2-in-1 food pusher into the feed chute. When you want to juice, open the pulp chute by pressing the pulp chute towards the juicing bowl. Or, when making sauce or jam, pull the pulp chute away from the juicing bowl to close it allowing pulp and juice to flow together into the juicing container. Sauces and jams will not require the pulp container. When you are ready to juice, power on your KitchenAid stand mixer to speed 10. The Juicer and Sauce Attachment from KitchenAid.